What's going on guys and welcome back to another review to which you call the disturbance in the world of mixed steel now This is our very first time seeing a GGO themed um, Sheen on band, which is pretty cool. Hans was waiting for one and I was kind of hoping that we were gonna get one But I didn't think we were but seeing that we finally got one as a bait banner makes me really happy Not only that, but we finally got Silica. I've been waiting for GGO um, Silica here for quite some time since they released her in the Alization anime. I think it was in the beginning of First part of the first season, which is really cool. I'm finally happy that we finally got her. Now, this is gonna be a first impression. I have absolutely no idea what this banner actually looks like between the SS3 and the idle animations, but in terms of abilities, uh, we're gonna go over that really quickly here. Now, first off, we have the barrier ability here. The thing about the barrier is like a safeguard. So, if you guys miss a parry, or if you guys get hit by, uh, by chance and it's only a single hit, this barrier here will actually soak up that. Um, soak up that hit and you actually won't uh, take upon the repercussions of actually getting hit so you won't lose combo you won't take any damage and you won't get hit with any knockback which is really nice for the four corner event this is definitely from what it looks like a very good four corner event uh, themed banner here so if you guys are looking for some tanky characters just to take on bosses and stuff with maximum range this is a great banner to pick up on now we also have the Limit Break ability, which allows you to add a second barrier. And as you guys probably know, the Double Barrier characters are pretty impressive when it comes to fighting bosses and for the four current events. Like we have Susan Yuki, we always have the AOL, U, or AOL Kirito, we have the whole Gods banner, uh, that being Susan Yuki, the God Shinon, and I think it was Leaf as well. We have a lot of Double Barrier characters out right now. Now there is no saying that they're just going to stop doing it for quite some time. Being that, this is a pretty good banner. This is the very first time that we're going to be seeing an AR or GGO themed double barrier banner. Being like a sniper rifle and or AR. And as you guys probably know, the HP recovery characters for like AR and sniper weapon types are pretty good for cutting on their own. Just for having HP recovery for the Falcon runs. Not only that, but these characters have the barrier and or the double barrier ability. That would be really good to have for the Falcon events. And we also have the auto parry feature. The auto parry feature is really nice. Basically, you sit down in guard mode or your um, continuous fire mode in terms of air weapon types. And they automatically parry when they are hit with the parryable attack, which is really nice. It makes it really easy to parry certain moves. Uh, but you do have to be in the full guard, unlike some characters like Dual Blades and stuff. For example, you can manually parry uh, like instantly instead of having to be in full guard before having to parry. Uh, which is really nice, but it is kind of a hinder. If you are looking to just get a quick parry off, you do have to parry manually for that. But if you guys do want to sit there and camp, auto parry is always a very good option for that. So nonetheless, we're going to jump into this. I'm very excited. I've always been a huge fan of the... Uh, model of the Jijo Shinan. Now, this is the first time we're going to be seeing the model for the Jijo Silica, so I'm kind of excited to see what she look like here. So we have Sh uh, Shinan here, a pretty cool idol animation. I like that, kind of shooting her gun onto the side and putting it on her shoulder. Does she do anything else? That's pretty cool. I really do like that. She kind of has her toe in the or her tiptoe on her back. That is really neat. Nothing too much for idol animation, but a very nice idol animation. All right, so we're going to check out her um, SS3 animation as well. As you see her, she does recover HP and she does have the uh, barrier. Now this is going to be instant recovery, they didn't really specify that in the uh, banner preview, but she does recover HP. That is a nice, so HP recovery and barrier. Um, as you guys probably know from the recent Wally banner, I think it was the Rain and, uh, the Rain and Shinon if I'm not mistaken. The Wally Rain and Shinon, that was the Earth Wally banner. They did have barrier, but they did not have HP recovery, so you do want to be a little careful with those characters. But unlike this one, even though you guys do have the double barrier, you guys will always have the HP recovery, so that's going to be a very safe guard for the four convents here. That just made this banner all so much better here. Alright, so we're going to check out for combo here real quick at 6. So I want to say a 12 at combo here really quick, just uh, with this curl real fast. A very nice SS3 animation though. Kind of cool. The truck comes by and picks her up. Not bad, at 12 and combo toe putting behind the enemy in the middle of our SS3. Not bad, I really do dig that SS3 animation. Now as you guys probably know, sniper characters do recover a ton of HP relatively quickly. And it does kind of suck that we haven't been getting the attack speed up on combo characters. Especially with sniper characters. Because that makes them very feasible for the full current events and for the ranked events in terms of building MP. 
I just miss those days where they'd have the attack speed up, especially for sniper characters. Fidobo Shinan would probably be one of my all-time favorite sniper characters just because of that ability here. But nonetheless, we have Shinan here doing a 12-bit combo and teleporting behind the enemy. That is a really nice SS3 animation. Now, her SS3 isn't as far as a reach for her auto attacks, but it's still pretty decent. It's still pretty decent. Not bad, though. Overall, like, definitely a good pickup if you guys do get her. So we're gonna check out Silka here. Kind of excited. She looks like she's in like a trench here. Oh, a trench coat. That is pretty cool. I like that. All right, Silka here. Oh, that's a really cool animation. She's kind of like. She looks like. <laughs> she looks like she has like a stomachache or something <laughs> at first. Kind of hugged her gun. That's cool. That's really cool. I like that. All right, that's a really cool auto animation. Stomachache Silka here. Not bad. All right. Ooh. Okay. So she does instantly teleport behind the enemy at the very beginning of SS3. Alright, not bad. Unlike Shinan, she does stick a little bit and then she moves behind the enemy in the middle of SS3. Soka here actually teleports behind the enemy at the very beginning. Now in terms of everything, actually we gotta check out her combo real quick. Can we snipe here? Alright, over 56, so let's see if we can do the quick math here. 56, um... I believe it's a 13 hit combo. Not bad. All right, so in terms of everything, you have two different types of play types here. If you guys are really big fans of AR characters where you guys can kite around, uh, build your MP while evading the enemy, get your paras off and whatnot, this is a really good start off. A 13 hit combo instantly teleports behind the enemy. As you guys are aware, I'm a huge fan of Dubai characters. Well, on Dubai characters, that have HP recovery, just because a lot of them have the teleportation aspect to their SS3. So when you're building MP and stuff insanely quickly, and you're just trying to nuke a boss as quick as possible, you can build MP and as soon as you get enough to do an SS3, you spam it right away. And the fact that you teleport behind the enemy makes it all the more feasible, killing an enemy relatively quickly, and a lot more safer than most characters here. So in terms of Silka, she definitely has the SS3 animation and her SS3 positioning to spam SS3 and kill an enemy relatively quickly. Instant teleportation, slight levitation, I don't think that really played a huge factor here. Uh, but having the instant teleportation is always very nice. And the fact that her being a hero character, building MP at a decent pace and a constant pace is always very nice. Building combo and incredibly fast. This is a really good fork of my character here. Now in terms of Shinan, I'm sure she could do the same effect um, at a different pace though. As you guys probably know, sh like sniper characters, they do attack relatively slowly. They don't attack as fast as I'd like them to, per se, versus the attack speed of characters. But they're still pretty quick. Now, I do want to say both characters here can definitely build MP at a decent pace and build combo and stuff and spam SS3 relatively quickly. Having the teleportation aspect on its own is very good for the Fork event. So overall, I do want to say this is the banner. This banner here is a pretty good pickup. Now, if you guys are unaware as to how to initiate the auto parry feature, if you do charge down here, Shinan is in her charge uh, phase here. We can do a charge shot, build MP a lot faster, uh, but it's a little slower to be honest. She builds MP at a, a faster pace per shot versus her auto attacks, I should say. Um, but she is in her current auto parry state here. So if the enemy per se does hit her with a parryable attack right now, we would automatically parry it without having to swipe up. That is Shinan's charge phase here. But unlike Silka, you do, uh, I think it's like the, uh, I forget what they call it. Bas basically, you hunker down and you start building attacks while you're hunkering down. Now, if an enemy were to hit you in this state right here for Silica, she would automatically parry you without you having to um, swipe up, which is always very nice. Now, overall, this does look like a great banner. I'm very pleased with what they did with this banner here. Now, in terms of everything, we do have a ton of banners out right now. This, uh, We're still in the very... The first part or the first phase of this month's banner here, so we're still missing one bait banner and one rank event banner here. So if you guys do want to save your memory diamonds and see what we cash out for the rest of the month, that wouldn't be a bad option. But I do want to say if you guys are in need of some tanky characters, let alone some tanky ranged characters, this. This is definitely an excellent pickup here. I definitely recommend you guys do pick this up if you guys are in need of tanky characters. Let alone if you guys are in need of some characters and you guys have to fight like the uh, five star or the yeah the R5 accessory events with the Cobalt. 
This would be a great banner. You having ranged characters, the double barrier feature, let alone building MP relatively quickly. Shinada being a little bit slower, but still could be an okay. This is a great banner um, to scout on just for characters for that um, event right here. Not bad. Now, if you guys do get these characters here, and per se, you guys are like, oh, I need a weapon. I don't know if I'd recommend getting this uh, banner right here. Although it's really good, um, the weapons seem really good. We do have the new buff ability, and you have a chance to get, you know, like a matching weapon and stuff. There is a much greater chance for you to get, uh, let's say, a sniper rifle that's not elemental from the guaranteed weapons. You guys would be guaranteed a sniper rifle from this weapon here, and you have a high chance of it being not elemental. We have a lot more non elemental sniper rifles. Uh, versus elemental sniper rifles like a holy or a wind per se. We have a lot more of the non elemental I think we have four or five out right now versus like the four or five uh, Holy ones, so it's like a or non elemental ones like wind and fire and stuff So there's a good chance that you guys might get like a um, Something that's not non elemental, but there's always a good chance that you guys will get something and same with AR There are a ton of of non elemental AR weapons out at this very point in time, and there's not too many of what I'd say, like a wind or a holy or an earth um, AR weapon route right now. So, if you guys are in need of like an AR weapon, I would definitely recommend scouting on this right here. You guys are guaranteed a weapon, regardless of the fact you guys have a high chance of it being non elemental. But for, but for that matter, if you guys are in looking for a certain character, I'll leave it on the side of the screen for you guys. There will be raid ups. For this banner and it is confirmed this is always a record crystal scout as well so the more you scout the more of a chance of guys accumulating 10 record crystals and for that matter you guys have a chance to get or a higher chance to get one of the banner characters being a six star um i don't know if my phone will hold right now but with that being said you guys are in a good spot to be scouting for some really good tanky characters having raid ups is always very nice but that being said guys thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy today's review for that matter i will definitely be scouting I didn't get anything as far as this yet. I did scout on it, but I'm waiting for the Shinan right up. Uh, but let me know in the comments below what you guys get when you guys scout. Nonetheless, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.